What's going on guys? Daddy do it all here. Juan, uh, listen, uh, this is the second video of the series of videos of the real life testing of the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. Make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Again, uh, not being sponsored for anything on this channel at the moment. Uh, in fact, that's not the goal, but if I do get, you know, a couple of items for testing, I'm um, willing to do it. Uh, so uh, make sure you check out the first video uh, and then from here the third fourth video because uh, the first one was uh, not very long guys but it's very very informative very thorough so check it out guys you will find out um, how I'm testing this uh, EcoFlow, EcoFlow Delta 2 Max uh, in the real life application and even trying to take part of my house off the grid with it and the uh, expandable battery, smart battery. So, uh, second video here, guys. Check it out. Alrighty, guys. So, um, we have been connected to the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max for a little bit. Um, again, nine of those circuits, not all at the same time on here in the house, but let me show you what it looks like uh, yeah, right now. It is drawing. 502 and I'm bringing in about 748 from solar which is awesome I think it was my fridge and maybe the freezer in the garage that's the major draw it went up to 1.2 kilowatts as far as uh, out output but uh, I'll keep monitoring again this is without the extra battery yeah guys another thing i like about this ecoflow delta 2 max and the ecoflow products is that you can use the app let me show you and as you can see there i think my fridge and freezer uh, are taking a little break not pulling any um wattage so uh we're coming in at 744 with just two of the Haleen 490 watt panels and our output is only 471 at the moment. There they are out there guys. One, two. 1141 now guys. Um, we started off at about maybe 10 in the morning with this. Uh, the only thing I see guys is on the watts here. My fridge, my freezer, I don't think is really pulling that much. But when my AC turns on, which obviously it's a 220 volt and uh, higher amp circuit there is not connected to this, but for some reason it pulls 1.2 watts when my AC turns on. And that's what I'm trying to figure out here. I'm calling some electrician friends I have and figure that out. But uh, I think we're working good. Again, we have nine circuits connected to this, bedrooms, kitchen, uh, my garage, freezer in there, my kitchen, refrigerator in there. And so far, so good, guys. So far, so good. Again, this is my setup here. A little cart there from Amazon. Really, yeah, it's a, it's a economical little cart there, guys. But uh, coming in here, these are not hot at all a little warm here but nothing major and again i'm coming in there and i'll show you the setup in the garage here we have those two manual circuit breakers those on top here are going to the panels outside and this is going to the EcoFlow transfer switches over there. My AC is coming on now, guys. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Let me start here. Boom, jumps up to 1221. So I don't know, I'm getting some kind of draw there. I'm gonna I'm figure that out, guys. That's actually what's pulling the most because if not, it's at about four or 500 on the output side and 
you know, I have 740, 750 coming in, that should just continue to keep me on for, you know, sort of uh, off grid for those 10 circuits. But that's what I'm trying to figure out. Alrighty guys, so we figured it out. Again, we have a high draw here. Actually went out and used the EcoFlow uh, sun gauge and adjusted one of the solar panels, just one, and, and I'm going from 740 to 770, which is pretty good. I'm gonna go adjust the other one right now. But uh, we figured this one out. Uh, oh, it just shut off, my AC just shut off. But the, the actual fan is connected to the furnace circuit, which I have the furnace circuit on this uh, 10 panel, sorry, 10 circuit transfer switch. And that's why we I see the draw uh, go up to one, 1 1.2 kilowatts on there um, because that circuit is uh, using the fan to blow the cold air in the house, not necessarily connected to the AC, right? It's connected to my furnace, which I will use in the winter. But yeah, now it, as you can see there, it's shut off completely. I'm gonna go ahead and, and move that, um, that actual circuit on the transfer switch to line and just run line because uh, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to run that on here, guys. I'll. Uh, I want to run the rest of the house. So that be it. Daddy, do it. Alrighty, guys. Like I said, um, I called a uh, electrician friend of mine, and he kind of gave me some uh, direction. I'm getting a draw of 1.2 kilowatts when my AC comes on again. I don't have the AC connected to this, that's a 220 circuit, but um, it's actually drawing to that motor, or that fan motor uh, in, the or in the attic and furnace and using that to blow the cold air in. But I do have the furnace circuit, let me show you, connected to this transfer switch. So here's the transfer switch, guys. And the furnace is number 19 here, sorry. Number 19 furnace, right? So, uh, on uh, 19 here, furnace. On here, it's, sorry guys, I'm horrible with this camera. <laughs> on here is 19, if, I don't, if I'm not mistaken, D. That is our furnace. And let me confirm here on my phone real quick. So guys, yeah, D right here. As you can see, now we're online. That's off. That's generator. I'm gonna put it online for now. Winter comes, then I will use it in uh, the application it's intended to with the EcoFlow Delta Two Max running it. As you can see, that's probably gonna be the biggest draw right now. I have my freezer, fridge. There's there's a garage here. All the GFIs in it. All the bedrooms. So now you know I have eight circuits out of the ten in here because one of them, which is uh, J here. I will be connecting a heat pump mini split here in my garage so I can work better on this Mustang here. But uh, the other thing I wanted to say, guys, Reliance controls uh, for now. You know, product's working great. Easy connection there. I have to patch that up there, guys. But let me tell you, man, their customer service is exceptional, guys. Uh, I work for a company. Uh, we manufacture, we sell, we service, and we have driven into us the importance of customer service reliance i called them uh four or five times asked them questions about you know i asked them about this l-1430 uh, about this one here which i purchased uh, from another uh, brand but uh, i asked them questions about this transfer switch and they have exceptional exceptional tech support and customer service guys i have not been sponsored by, the, by them or anything for free here i just want to give a uh, a thumbs up for uh for their uh service guys there and and hopefully this product is the same you know i i'm i'm, I'm more than 100 percent sure it will be daddy do it daddy so did guys, it back in here uh, as you can see that's the average draw right now this is coming in i have to go move one of the other panels or adjust it this battery an extra 2000 kilowatt to make it four combined has not been connected. I just want to see how this does on its own. And now the furnace circuit 
as you saw before, it has been turned off. That was drying this up to another, about another 800 watts. It was drying that up to about 11 to 1200 watts. So we're gonna wait for the AC to kick on and see what it does. And then also I'm gonna go adjust the other solar panel uh, to see if we can get more than that. I want an 800 at least, guys. Each panel is 490, right? So we'll see. So there you go, guys. 806, again, those panels are 490. So, you know, even 900 would be awesome for me, right? Uh, 450 on each or 430 on each. Uh, you know, higher than 800, but hey, we start off with 740. And again, uh, that's I think that's gonna be the maximum draw here, guys. Uh, being that, um, we eliminated that furnace circuit and uh, the fan inside of there to blow the cold air in the house it was through that circuit pulling up to 1,200 watts, but no longer on there. So now eight circuits and uh, doing good. Running lights, uh, restroom vents, TVs. What else we got on there? Well, you get the idea, guys. And again, you saw my setup with those circuit breakers, and uh, this is how we're coming in here, guys. This little cart. This is what we got it for. We roll it out of the way there, a little bit set up there. And uh, coming in in there. These are not hot at all, like nothing, nothing. This has a little heat in there, but very warm. That's nothing major, guys. And. Again, still have not connected the extra battery, which I do plan to connect it and see what we get there. Daddy did it. So guys, uh, another cool uh, feature of this EcoFlow Delta 2 Max and I guess other uh, capable um, power generators, power stations that have uh, connectivity to Wi-Fi. Uh, even though I'm now nowhere near my home, uh, you can actually still see the app and see what's going on. Let me show you. You can see right now, 754 coming in, 899, eight, sorry, 490 um, output, and we're at 91% charge. Uh, so, uh, again, guys, I'm thinking of uh, reconnecting the furnace circuit so uh, I'll keep you posted how you doing guys Juan here and uh, 8 11 p.m. same day since uh, we've gone live zero solar coming in a couple TVs on in the house and we're drawing five 51, obviously fridge, freezer, in the garage is connected. And that's where we're at. So we'll see how we uh, end up in the morning, guys. So guys, it is 9.30, 24% left. Obviously, we're not gonna make it all through the night. So I am gonna connect the extra battery. This is actually the new battery with the LFP batteries in it Let's see what it does well guys it connected that extra battery and this is what it looks like in, in the app here because um, we were not gonna last through the night obviously all the lights are off TVs are off but we still have the refrigerator freezer in the garage on so with the extra battery Hopefully it'll get us through the night. Solar will come up in the morning and begin a charge. And then we'll test now with the extra battery throughout the day. See what it does. That's what it looks like there. Extra battery. Okay, guys. Thanks again for watching this second video. Uh, if you haven't already, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe.
go back to watch the first video and then also stay tuned for the third fourth fifth video um, third video we're gonna start with the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max and the extra battery fully charged run it through the whole day and night and see what we end up the next morning uh, you'll be surprised uh, how well this thing performs uh, throughout the day I would uh, not want to spoil but uh, the uh, the future videos throughout the day it performs flawlessly guys um, I will even eventually um, uh, on the transfer switch um, uh, put the, that load back onto the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max uh, or re reactivate it turn it back on uh, and then run it throughout the day um, so uh, you'll see guys but uh, stay tuned thanks for uh, for watching and again this is a real life uh, test uh, not the whole house uh, this uh, it's not built to really uh, power the whole house but uh, you know those uh, specific uh, uh, circuits uh, you would say those um, necessary circuits uh, in case of a uh, power power outage or emergency guys so uh, again again zero sponsorship but uh, true life test here guys so thank you again